Have you ever asked yourself how much you could have accomplished with the time that you spent on your phone? Believe it or not, this actually does not need to be a painful process. Using these tools by Apple implemented already in your phone, you're actually able to take back your life, gain productivity, clarity, and really understand how to accomplish your goals. Downtime is going to be a huge tool to utilize if you're somebody who's looking to get away from your phone. You can go into your phone under screen time, downtime, and set these boundaries. The coolest part is, is you can actually set individual boundaries depending on the app. So for example, if you're somebody who maybe has a big problem with Instagram, you can go in and put Instagram in an hour and you can do all the rest, whatever you'd like. The one thing you will notice is what happens is when you put these into effect, what downtime does, after your hour of Instagram, it'll actually come up with a little notice that says, hey, you've reached your time on Instagram. You are able to ignore for 15 minutes, you are able to ignore for one minute, and then you're able to ignore for the rest of the day. The cool part is it doesn't completely take it away from you, it just is a friendly reminder like, hey, this is something that you advised me you would like to make happen in your life, so let's work on making it happen. These are great strategies and tools to use if you would like to make yourself more productive. Now, focus mode is going to be something that is kind of an addition and or another tool you can use to actually help yourself really get in the zone. If you go into focus mode and you set it for an hour the whole day, 30 minutes, eight minutes, it will actually have your notification silenced and essentially help you really get into a hyper-focused zone mental state to where your only focus is on what project or what you're pursuing currently. The cool part is it is on Mac and iPhone and iPad and anything Apple. So when I actually put focus mode on, it literally is focus mode on everything and nothing beeps or makes a noise when there's no notification or anything. The cool part is you can put on focus mode and allow emergency calls so that if there was an issue with your girlfriend, wife, loved one, whatever it is, that call will come through or certain notifications from certain people will actually come through as well. Everything else will be there when you're done. Leads me into my last point is that with focus mode, the cool part is everything is beeped out and muted until you are done. Now you can, after you finish your project or you're done with your focus time, you can actually take your phone and it'll tell you exactly what you missed and then you can go through and answer everything. I will recommend that if you guys do have important people in your life, which I assume you do, that if you do enable this, go ahead and make sure that for emergency purposes, you are able to get a hold of those people so that when you put on focus mode to get into the zone with your book, you're not actually missing a call that could actually be life-saving. Anyways, guys, focus mode and downtime. I hope you guys get the same amount of productivity as I have from these apps. Go ahead and put in the comments below what you guys use focus mode and downtime for. Maybe this is the first time you've ever heard of focus mode and downtime. And also two other questions is, what do you plan on getting done using focus mode or downtime? And what apps are you most looking forward to getting away from to pursue something more important with your life by using downtime? And if there's something huge you guys have accomplished with focus mode, put it down in the description and we're gonna do some shout outs because I think that's awesome. Maybe you guys have written a book, maybe you've asked a girl out, maybe you have started a new business, maybe you started a YouTube channel, an Etsy store. I wanna hear about it. I'll talk to you guys soon, peace.